I'm your host James and not only are we learning about recycling today, but we're also going to show how we can make a car out of a water bottle. Grab a piece of paper and sketch out what you want your car to look like with all the materials you have. Let's imagine that a new policy that's in place is that gas powered vehicles are no longer allowed in our community. How are we going to get around? Luckily in the area we're in, it's always windy, so we're going to try to use this to our advantage. And using the materials that you have with you, you are tasked with making a vehicle that everyone can use, that they can make themselves. Are you up to the challenge? I know you are, so let's get into it. Before you get started, every good designer starts with an idea. With all the materials you have in front of you, I bet you have an idea going on in your head right now thinking of how can I turn these into a car. Start off by drawing out your ideas, put it on paper, put it on sticky notes, get it from here to here. Think of answers to these three questions. Question number one, what do all vehicles need to move? Number two, are wheels necessary? And number three, what will catch the wind or propel the car forward? So right now, grab a piece of paper and start sketching your design and your idea on this pad. How are you going to attach the wheels so they move freely? What item will function as the car's body? In my case, it's gonna be a water bottle, but in yours, it could also be a water bottle or it could be a paper towel roll or anything else that you could use to make the body of the car. Now that you have a design, spend the next 20 minutes building your design. As you're building, your design starts changing, that's okay. It's okay to deviate and go away from your original drawing. Remember, as you're building, getting the wheels to spin smoothly is the key to making the car work. I bet your guys' cars look great and I can't wait to see them when you submit them on myfuture.net. Now, what I want you to do is find a long hallway in your home or just outside your front porch or in your backyard, somewhere safe, and I want you to test your car. Take a video of it, take a picture of it, and that's what I want you to upload to myfuture.net. Depending if it worked or didn't work, you liked the design or you didn't, we're going to now reflect on what we did. Questions I need you to ask yourself about reflecting on this is, did your vehicle work? Why or why not? Were you able to solve the problem you ran into? When you submit your picture online to myfuture.net, in the comment section there, I want you to put down answers to these questions. Did your vehicle design work? Why or why not? And were you able to solve any problems that came up with your design or with your build? Now, if you've gotten to this point in the video and you haven't finished your car yet, that's okay. You're meant to pause and replay and go back and watch if you need to. So don't feel pressured in how much time it's going to take to build your car. You're going to build it until it, you feel it is perfect. If your car didn't work in the first test, look at what didn't work. If you used the balloon and the balloon pushed out air and it worked, then you know that's not the problem. If you use the sail instead and you use the wind outside or a hair dryer or even a fan to blow it forward and it still didn't move but you could see the sail flapping, that's not the problem. Maybe it's the wheels. Maybe it's the body of the car. Maybe there's something slowing it down. Break down what's causing the problem and fix it.
Now, something I also very much like doing because it doesn't cost anything extra is recycling. Spend the extra couple seconds, instead of throwing a bottled water in the garbage can, put it in the recycling bin. They're usually right next to each other. If you don't have an at-home recycling bin, I encourage you make one and start recycling your materials. Now, I know that's been said a lot, but it has a very serious impact on our oceans. It doesn't cost anything to recycle. All you gotta do is have a bin for it, and toss it in. Now, you know what's even cooler? There are recycling plants where you can take those bottles and you can recycle them and get money for it. Now, because there has been so much pollution and people haven't been doing their part recycling and cleaning up after themselves, look at what's sitting out in the ocean right now. This right here is the Pacific Garbage Patch. There are tons and tons of plastic water bottles and other garbage out there. It's basically its own island. Now, seeing this can be a little scary, but there are things you can do to help. You can recycle correctly, and you can make sure you're using the correct materials when recycling and when throwing stuff away so it doesn't make its way out to the ocean and pollute our waters and hurt our sea life. I've been your host, James, and together with STEM, we can make the world a better place. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.